What's going on everyone? Dr. Adrian Chavez here with personaltrainingprep.com and in this video, I'm gonna give you a strategy that I've used to help over 100 people pass the ACSM Certified Personal Trainer exam with. So if you're watching this video, you're familiar with the fact that ACSM has a pretty hard CPT exam. Uh, almost 50% of the people who take it fail. Uh, I saw this, I saw the frustration uh, in my own experience uh, because I took the exam myself, but also while I was teaching at a university, I was teaching undergraduate students, and these students were having a hard time studying for the exam, even though they were in programs that were teaching this information. So in my class, we were teaching this information, but ACSM really made it difficult in allowing them to see what they needed to focus down on. Uh, and I saw that in my own experience when I took the exam as well. And hearing the frustrations of multiple students, I decided to create my own course. Now, this is not necessarily going to be an advertisement for my course, um, but if you choose to buy it, I'm going to recommend how to study with my course and then also how I recommend to study if you don't have my course. You can sign up for a free three-day trial for my course uh, by clicking below. It's called Master the ACSM CPT Exam. I just I tried to put all the content together as easy uh, as easy to understand as possible, um, and and I put as much of the content that I could uh, in the in the course to help people really get over that hump of figuring out what's going to be on the exam, what the major pieces of the exam are, because ACSM tends to focus on health risk classification, uh, exercise prescription, and a lot of anatomy and certain uh, movement patterns and, and biomechanics. Uh, and I tried to go really heavy on those topics and a lot less on all of the details that you're also going to need to know to pass, but they're not going to make up the bulk of what you see on the course. So that's, or the bulk of what you see on the exam, I apologize. Uh, but that's what my course is uh, really trying to give you the basics of what you need. So when someone is using the, the master, the ACSM CPT exam, the course that I created to study, I always recommend that they go through that first. They spend one month. You can go through the whole course in one month uh, and really get it down. So take all the quizzes, uh, listen to the audio, watch the videos, read the content, and it's a 150 page ebook and uh, 400 quiz questions. And once you go through that, you're gonna have a good grasp of 70% of what you need to know. And then, and then if you don't have my course, this is where I recommend you start. After that, you take the ACSM CPT exam content outline. This is a document that ACSM puts out, and I'll, I'll link that below as well, uh, but that document gives every topic that is on the exam, and it tells you what you need to know, the competencies, the information that you need to know. So I recommend going through there one by one, topic by topic, and making sure that you understand those concepts, making sure that you have them down well. If you do that, if you just cross it off, yellow i know it well red i don't know it at all and you just work on it and work on it you're going to start to gain a lot of that uh that additional knowledge and fill in those gaps and then i also recommend to find any uh online quizzes that you can find so there are online quizzes that different companies create uh i would go into the app store of your apple google play the apps are all different but type in acsm cpt practice exam or ACSM CPT. If you just type that in, you're gonna find a couple of apps that have practice quizzes. Um, they're gonna be 10 to 15 bucks, okay? It is a good investment to uh, buy these practice quizzes because what these companies do is they take exam questions directly from ACSM and put them into these uh, practice questions. Now, sometimes the apps aren't as high quality as others. Uh, everything is always changing, new apps are coming up, so I don't want to give specific names on this video because uh, it might be out of date in a couple of months. But uh, I do recommend just going to your app store in whatever type of uh, system you have, whether it be Google Play or, or Apple, and just typing in ACSM CPT and signing up for a couple of those. It's going to cost you some extra money, but it's well worth it. You do not want to fail and have to take it over again because that's going to cost you $150. And then you're going to have to restudy and you're going to have to learn some more and you're going to have to invest in these things later. So just study right the first time. Uh, so either read the Essentials for Personal Training book first or go through my course first and then fill everything in with the exam content outline that I have linked below. You can also find it just by going to Google and typing in ACSM CPT 
exam content outline uh, and it goes through point by point you need to go through point by point any uh, topics that you need to brush up on refer straight to the text it will tell you where in the text you can find that information so you go to the text you read it you make sure you understand it you go back to it over and over again as you study I usually recommend that people take about three months to study um, and then if that first month you're reading through either the textbook or going through my course um, and then you go one month of going from the exam content outline and making sure that you understand each topic and then one month of just taking tons of practice quizzes find as many practice quizzes as you can these are going to expose you to different types of questions different types of wording um, one of the best things I like about some of the practice quizzes is they use the exact wording that ACSM does I don't do that in my course because my goal was just to try to get you to understand the overarching concepts uh, and I didn't pull questions directly from ACSM's exams uh, I, I was more trying to really question whether or not you could remember uh, the important key concepts and, and conceptualize how to put together a, a program or how to how to classify someone's uh, risk score so I didn't focus as much on how ACSM asks questions and that's why I highly recommend also using other quiz questions um, ACSM also has those quiz questions uh, I forget what book it is out of those three books that they recommend that you buy uh, the least important is the guidelines and then there's the resources for the personal trainer and essentials of personal training the resources for the personal trainer um, is also a good one or the exercise science professor. I, I don't know the exact names of the books I don't have them in front of me right now. I actually gave them away after I uh, created the course and took and after I updated the course uh, Earlier this year. So another question uh, 2018 uh, is when ACSM made the upgrades to their content uh, I, well, Actually, it was December 2017. I upgraded my course to that uh, to reflect the new content So I have my uh, course updated for that and I'll always make updates uh, and when you sign up you get lifetime access so you can spend as long as you want studying uh, So just quick plug on the course again because I know it's helped so many people and I'm not just trying to sell you something uh, That I don't think is going to be a significant benefit for you uh, And particularly probably at a lower cost of what you're going to spend for other types of training courses that maybe probably aren't going to benefit you as much as I mentioned I've helped over a hundred people pass the exam with my course who have taken my course and told me that either they failed before or they were having trouble before they were having trouble understanding the concepts and this really gave them the confidence to go into the test knowing that they were going to pass um, I know my, my pass rate I don't have exact numbers but uh, it's well over 80% of the people who sign up for my course so check it out you get a free three-day trial um, and then if you don't want to buy it you don't have to buy it all right uh, so I just wanted to share that information with you make sure if you don't if you're studying for the exam and you don't have the exam content outline uh, you're doing yourself a major disservice you need to go through that exam content outline topic by topic and make sure that you have those topics and all of that content down so I'll post that below check it out let me know if this video was helpful for you leave a comment below um, and then if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below I have a free Facebook group that you can also check out I'll link that below as well um, and then you can ask questions there you can connect with other people taking the exam thanks for watching I uh, hope you have a great day and good luck on the exam